my neighbors must think I'm crazy. What's up guys, today is prep day. We're going to Moab, not tomorrow, but the next day. Moab is an epic, super epic destination for our truck. We're taking the we're taking the army trailer with the tent. We're taking the, the Toyota Tacoma. We are taking dirt bikes. It's gonna be me and my two closest buddies. It's gonna be super, super epic. It's gonna be great. For starters, long travel Toyota Tacoma. Tons of travel for, for off-road. Re-geared with 5.29s. I think as far as off-roading goes, we are covered. It's ready to go. Trailer. Can carry tons of gear. Unfortunately, the cap's too small to hold dirt bikes. We're gonna put dirt bikes in the back of the truck. We got our rooftop tent. It holds five men. We're taking two and a half. My buddy's pretty short. Where'd he go? <laughs> Two high lift jacks. Spare 35 inch tire. Hi, Bodie. There's Bodie. There's Bentley. Oh, Sterling, did you get that out? Yeah. Yeah? What were you doing with that? Don't buy a jump. Are you jumping on it? That's always good to jump on dad's tools. That's that's a good thing. Snowmaster 66 liter fridge and freezer combo. Basically, this thing's gonna be full of beer. Pretty much all beer. I don't think I need any of that stuff. We have our ready light. This is a solar light. Let me show this to you guys. This thing's sweet. So the ready light charges by solar. You can charge your phone and your uh, other accessories. On the other side, you have one big LED panel and four small LED panels. Each one comes off, they're magnetic, they can stick anywhere for scene lighting. And if you don't have a metal surface to put them on, they have a nice little hook here. There's an attachment here for a big tripod so you can set it out, get tons of, uh, tons of light flowing in. Our first bin here in the trailer has got lots of uh, camping essentials. Let's go ahead and open her up. You want up? We gotta get them up. All right, Sterling, show the people what we got in our camping essentials bin. So in here we've got pots and pans. This is all like nothing fancy. I just went to uh, like this used junk store and just got cheap pans. Uh, there's no need to spend a fortune on stupid overland specific stuff. I got this uh, Coleman knockoff grill. Propane. Are you cool? Toys for the kids is always wow. important. These, these are like, um, these are like fleece blankets kind of with a waterproof edging and then this is like a miniature sleeping bag. As Sterling's pointing out, we got a nice lantern, lights up this area really well at night. So I gotta go back through here to uh, flashlights. Beer koozie, peanut butter, you know, just the essentials. We've got chairs uh, for sitting on. I've got a pair of these chalk blocks for chalking the trailer so it doesn't roll away. That's our annex. Kind of makes for a good changing room. Buddy heater. Those buddy heaters are cool because you can run them inside your rooftop tent and uh, there's no risk for CO poisoning or anything like that. This one's important. This is a first aid kit from Outer Limit Supply. It's got more than enough stuff in it to keep us covered in case anything goes wrong. Because something will probably go wrong. Hammock. Uh, these are old army pants. Sometimes I ride in them, not really though. Uh, but riding boots. Uh, my jacket, some spare oil. This is all mostly riding stuff. Toolbox, uh, just kind of a complete toolkit just for emergencies. I've got another one here, kind of small. It's got um, 
harmonica for obvious reasons. Um, crescent wrench, all my wrenches, uh, and some other things, just in case, you never know. This is a tongue jack, and this is like a screw jack for the rear. Five gallon water jug, I put clean water in here. Uh, it's great for like washing your hands, but you can drink with it, use, you know, wash the dishes or whatever in here. So, pretty well packed up, but I'm sure there's more stuff. I gotta double check the air compressor, make sure that's all operating fine, and I gotta wire the fridge. I got it wired to the bed of the truck, but I need to run an extension cord or some kind of setup to run it in the bed of the trailer because the dirt bikes are gonna be in the truck. Which... Alright, so next step is to change the diff oil on my truck. Um, if you guys are familiar with the channel, if you've been following along, you know that I just got a re-gear. I got 5.29 gears, and they are so sick. I'm telling you, you guys, they are awesome. The gears feel great. But, there's a 500 mile break-in period, and then you need to swap your gear fluid because it's going to become a slurry full of metal shavings as those gears self-polish. So, when I got my re-gear done, I picked some of this up from Nitro. This is uh, ADW1. ADW140 gear oil. It's nitro brand, but it's made by Schaefer. And if you're familiar with Schaefer, they're an awesome, uh, awesome synthetic oil. It's like liquid gold. And nitro was lucky enough to get it branded. Uh, so we're gonna be dumping a couple of these in the truck and uh, we'll see how she does. I need to pull the truck into the garage, but I'm, I'm worried that with the dirt bike on the back, it's not gonna. I don't know, we'll see. I'm kind of worried. I thought it would be a lot closer than that. I busted our window, stole all of our camera gear. Thanks. God, that sucks. I think we should probably go to like AAA tomorrow or something and get a window. It's gonna be okay, guys. All right, so you guys probably won't even be able to hear me because I'm filming on my cell phone because we just had almost every bit of camera equipment stolen out of my truck. Within less than an hour, everything got jacked. It's gone. They broke a window. So we are going to mob on through to Utah and hopefully have ins hopefully insurance squares some stuff out tomorrow, but we don't have a window. Luke's? Yeah, we don't have... Windows, cameras, drones. Oh, I hate thieves.